Hi, it's our friendly neighborhood VTuber Suvi here again with a new tutorial and not just a tutorial but also a new software. So, those of you who follow me on Twitter, well, imagine doing that, um, have probably been aware that I've been working on an Android precision face tracker for the past week or so. Anyway, the program is now available on Play Store and you can get it for your Android phone to be able to get ARKit style tracking to your avatar, basically using an Android phone instead of just an iPhone. So the quality, of course, is not as good as you would get with iPhone, since, you know, the tracking is based on simply a camera instead, while on an um, iPhone we have Face ID technology. So some of the tracking will react a bit slower and uh, it will not be as precise as on iPhone. But it's still something. So if you have an Android phone and don't plan on getting an iPhone, do give it a try. So for this thing to work, you will need to download the application to your Android phone. The link is down in the description. And then what you use it with depends on basically what you want to use it with. <laughs> so the program does work with VC Face and it does also work with any VMC capable application. So how to use it with VC Face? VC Face doesn't have a built in support for it, but the program uses almost identical protocol to that of VTube Studio. So if you tell VC Face to track using VTube Studio and enter your Android applications IP, it will work. So let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so the first step is to install the Meow Face Android tracker to your phone. You can do this by going to the address specified in the description with either your phone or with your PC and then simply clicking the install and selecting your phone and it will install it to your phone that way. Alternatively, just search it from Play Store. I couldn't find it right away from there. It's probably been too soon since the release for it to really be listed, but you can use the direct link until that. Okay, and the next step is for us to launch the program on the phone and make sure that the plan shape values you see here on the screenshots are actually reacting to your face. If not, then it's likely that your Android phone is not supported, sadly. But if they are reacting, then you should also see your local IP here. It's blurred on these images here. So make sure you are also connected to Wi-Fi when you start this program, because the IP should be your local IP. Okay, and then after that, simply start VC phase and let's see what kind of settings we need to set to make it working. Okay, so now that you have your VC phase running and a model loaded that has ARKit support, and you also have the Android application running, let us go to the settings in VC phase and then to the general settings. And now scroll all the way down until you find the part that says I facial mockup, face mockup 3D, VTube Studio. And then there's a checkbox, iPhone AR kit tracking receiver. Now, even though we are using Android, do click this one on. And then from the tracking app list, select VTube Studio. Now, this Android program uses identical protocol to that of the VTube Studio, so it can pretend that it is VTube Studio. Now in the IP field, you need to enter your phone's IP. This is the IP you will see in your Android application. So enter that one. And then you can, of course, click that receive facial features. That's the blend shapes. Then head movement. Yes, it does support head movement. Click that one on as well. Now there is an experimental eye bone tracking. But if you want better eye tracking, then I recommend you add, add the ARKit eye movement shape keys to your model instead of the eye bones, because those are more precise with this specific tracker. But this model doesn't have those, so for this one I am going to use the, the eye bone support. And now, as you can see, our avatar is actually tracking, and even the head movement is tracking to some degree.
the tracking on this specific model is not all that good though. So you may need to adjust your AR kit shape keys to be decent enough. We could try with another avatar and see how well something else performs. Now, of course, in addition to this, remember that you can adjust the blend shape weights in the Android application. It has fields for weight and max. Now, if you increase the weight value, then the blend shape value will be multiplied by that. And if you increase the max, then it will go beyond the usual limit. Now, adjusting the max value usually won't be necessary, but you may need to adjust the weight value for quite many of the blend shapes. The Android application will save those values when you exit the application, so in most cases you will not need to retype them every time. Personally, I would recommend you at least increase the mouth open or jaw open blend shape as well as some of the other mouth movement ones. While you may want to tone down the pro movement a little bit, at least in some cases that tends to be a bit too much. But play around with those until you find something that works for you. I hope you liked this tutorial and remember to leave the application 5 star reviews as well. It will definitely help me and everybody else to find that tracker as well. <laughs> anyway, if you like the content, consider subscribing down below as well as smashing the bell button to stay up to date with my latest tutorials. And if you run into any issues with the tracker, do join my Discord. We have a specific channel for that program. It's going to be easier to help your issues there rather than uh, looking all over the internet for the questions. Anyway, do also consider following me on all those other social medias. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.